guys, Mike here at MH Tutorials. Welcome back. Well, guys, today we're going to do something pretty cool. At least I think it's cool. Uh, we're going to deform metal, and I'm going to demonstrate that by simulating a car crash. Okay, but first let's get into the dynamics of the whole situation. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use N cloth to simulate uh, metal deformation. All right, and um, in order to do that, I'm just going to select this. Control H to hide that, and we're going to create a simple cube. Okay, and we're going to pull that up. Now, if you want to deform anything, uh, and you probably know that by just modeling, you need to have enough subdivision to um, get a realistic deformation. Okay, so in our cube, we're going to increase the poly count to 10 by 10 by 10. And don't go nuts on that. If you make it too high, your system is going to slow down or even freeze up. So this is fine. All right. So now that we've got our object selected, I'm just going to set my translates to zero. There we go. So it's nice and centered. And I'm going to go up to edit, delete by type history, and modify freeze transformations. There we go. I'm going to hit W. I'm going to pull that up. Maybe a bit higher. There we go. And I'm going to go to my end dynamics menu to end mesh and create end cloth. So now that my end cloth is created, I have an end cloth shape and I have a nucleus, which is kind of my end cloth engine, if you will. Okay. In our attribute editor, you can see the end cloth shape and the nucleus. Now, one thing we need to do to start with is go into our nucleus and select use plane. And once we do that, you get this little square around our nucleus here, which tells us that if we have this uh, cube fall down, it's going to hit the floor instead of going straight through it. OK, now we didn't change anything to our end cloth settings yet. We just used the default. We got 120 frames going on here. Actually, let's do 200. Why not? OK, and we're just simply going to hit play and see what happens. OK, so this just fell down into a puddle of nothing, right? Now, the reason for that is that end cloth is typically used to simulate cloth, like, you know, fabric, T-shirts, textile and so forth. But we can alter the settings on this to have it react much more like metal. Right, and that's what we're going for because we are trying to deform metal. All right, okay, so we got that. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to frame one and let's tweak this a little bit. Now, we already set up use plane, so that's fine. Uh, let's see, anything else we need to change here? No, we're going to go to our end cloth shape and we're going to tweak some things here. Okay, now, um we need to change the, um, the behavior of the object as far as uh, bending, stretching, and so forth. So our stretch resistance, we're going to bump that up to 200. Our compression resistance, 200 as well. Our bend resistance will go with 30. All right. Now, the restitution angle, that's important. Uh, and that uh, determines um, to quite an extent, you know, how it will um, deform and hold that deformed shape. Um, sounds weird, but that's what it is. Okay, let's set that to four, right? Our restitution tension, we'll set that at 2000. And the deform resistance, we'll set that to minus 100. OK, and we're at frame one, hit play and see what happens. OK, now you can clearly see here that it's no longer acting like cloth. It, it deformed and it held that shape, as you can see. All right. Now, in this case, our object fell flat down. Right. So let's try this. We're going to select our object and we're going to rotate it a little bit. And we're going to rotate it in a way that it's more likely that our object will hit the floor in that angle. OK, and let's hit 
play and see if there's a difference. And there we go. And you can clearly see that there's some damage going on there, right? And that damage is here to stay, right? Which is cool. And I'll just uh, show you by playing that out. It's not bouncing back. It's not acting like fabric, okay? So that's a good um, approach for that, all right? Now, we're going to go back to uh, display and show all to get our scene back. We'll take that guy. We'll get rid of it. Let's go back to our quote unquote car. Okay, so what do we got going on here? We got this guy. And we're going to go to edit, delete by type, history, modify, freeze transformations. We're going to go up to end mesh and create end cloth. We're going to go to our nucleus tab, use plane, is set up, that's good. We're going to tweak our settings in our end cloth shape like we did before. So our stretch resistance 200, compression 200, bend resistance 30, restitution angle 4, uh, let's see, restitution tension 2000, and our, um, where do you go, where do you go? deform resistance minus 100 all right so we got that uh, we're going to select this guy and under end mesh we're going to create a passive collider because we want our car to hit the pole and get smashed up all right and obviously you can replace this by something that looks more like a car but that's up to you okay so how do we get our car to move in that direction what we're going to do is we're going to apply a uniform field to our object to drive it in that direction. And in this case, it looks like it's a negative X direction. So while we have that selected, we're going to go under and dynamics to fields to uniform option box. And OK, so we want a negative X. So that will be minus one, if I'm not mistaken. This will be zero let's hit apply and let's see what happens here okay boom okay and our car just smashed into the pole and you know as you can see it's holding that shape okay let's do that again and what i'll do is i'll just give this guy some color so we can see it a bit better doesn't really matter what it is as long as it's nice and visible okay there we go all right so let's play that again and play boom okay so this is a simple technique that you can use to smash up cars and windows uh, in windows in maya i'm sorry yeah so um cool got any questions uh, you know where to find me uh, thank you guys for watching and i'd love to see you guys next time thanks bye